decisions made by Traffic and Parking Commission. You may appeal the decision by filing a writ of surreditary with the Davidson County Chancery or Circuit Court. Your appeal must be filed within 60 days of the date of entry of the Commission's decision. We advise that you seek your own independent legal advice to ensure that your appeal is filed in a timely manner and all procedural requirements have been met. Uh, do I have a motion on the approval of the uh, agenda today? I so moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 So moved. Approval of the minutes from the meeting, meeting of January the 13th, 2014. Uh, do I have a motion? So moved. Have a first. I have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. aye. All right, on the consent agenda, is there anyone here that would like anything to be pulled out? I would. Okay. I would like to remove resolution 02-14, fourth bullet down. It's supposed to be Harvard Avenue at North Wilson. I'd like to, I'd like to remove it outright, but if you want to just give me a one month deferral to figure out something, that's fine. A one month deferral. So we'll have a first. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Chip, did you want a month or indefinite? Um, indefinite is preferred. I'm trying to work out something with the neighbors in the area. They're not sure they want to stop sign right in front of their house. And um, maybe a month would be pushing it. Indefinite would be preferred. OK. All right. John, did you have anything that you wanted to discuss? Um, I just would like to ask just a question about valet parking because it's on the about valet parking um we get several we get these that seem to come to the committee um pretty regularly um who applies for these is these the establishment or are they a valet company the valet company applies for the valet the valet company does yes that is okay. correct okay <laughs> and are what are the there are rules and restrictions about how, where they're supposed to park these cars. Can they park them on the street, or they're only supposed to park in private lots? They're supposed to <coughs> secure a location to store the vehicles at. Okay. And then what happens if there are violations? According to the violations, according to the code 12.41, the enforcement ranges from a $50 fine to a $500 fine to a revocation or removal of their valet operation completely. If it is removed, that has to come back to the commission since the commission approves it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. That's we get these and just want to clarify. Thank okay. you. Thank that you. Satisfy your question. Yes. No? Okay. Thank so you. Let me, let me ask this: When the um, use meters, the city is reimbursed. The city is reimbursed for any lost revenue off the parking meters. Okay. Items on the consent agenda will be voted on at a single time. No individual public hearing will be held, nor will the commission debate these items unless a member of the audience or the commission requests that these items be removed from the consent agenda. The new business is convert <clears> Third <throat> Avenue North from one way to a two way from Gay Street to Jefferson Street. Well, that's not part of our consent agenda. It's not part of it. No, it's that's just You want to go business. on to the consent sure. agenda? It's up to you. Okay, I'll let's go it. on to the consent agenda. Uh, proposal number 2014-M-001-AB-001, a request to abandon a portion of Gay Street from George Davis Boulevard to 11th Avenue North, uh, Shanklin Street from George Davis Boulevard to 11th Avenue North uh, and Alley 359. All easements to be abandoned and relocated requested by Barge, Wagner, Sumner, Cannon, Incorporated Applicant. Chip, do you want to? No, it's development related. They're, they're, it's property not being used by Metro and all the adjacent property owners have signed off on abandoning it, and so it's for um, Barge Wagner to develop it. Okay. Commissioners, anyone have any questions? Is, is this the property that's just north of 
Charlotte Avenue in the track that HCA is going to be? Correct. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. We will need a hand vote on that. Okay. 5 and 0. Uh, <clears throat> Revolution number 0214, authorized stop sign on Arrowwood Drive at Arrowwood Court, uh, Arden Drive and Garrett Drive, Arden Drive and uh, Waldorf Drive, uh, authorized valet stand on the west side of Magazine Street Thursday, Saturday, 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. for uh, Rumors Bar. Anyone have any question? I make a motion to approve. Second. Do I have a second? second? I have a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Uh, all right, back to new business. Convert 3rd Avenue North from one way to two way from Gay Street to Jefferson Street. Well, the first thing I want to address is it's from Joe Johnston to Madison Street. So, and I'll show you on the map to better understand. Um, on your monitors there where the circle is is what we're going to end up talking about mostly. That's the railroad crossing. But the limits of the uh, one way to two way would be from just left of that circle where there's a road that looks more like an alley. It's called Joe Johnston. And then to your right, up past the big intersection at Jefferson, um, go back, Corby, to the red drawing, yeah, right there. To the right of Jefferson Street, um, there's that intersection at Madison, so that one way to two way. Right now it's one way from the circle to the far end of, to the right. With the ballpark study, they're recommending making 3rd Avenue two way, just as we did for, portion of 4th Avenue. But there will be no changes in the field until we can change what's inside that red circle, which is the railroad crossing. To change uh, from one way to two way at the railroad crossing requires um, an application with the railroad company, engineering, engineering drawings, lots of council approvals for the money. And the first step on that path would be to get your approval for the one way to two way. If we don't get that, then we don't start the application and we save some money. So we just need your approval on the front end, and then we come back with the signing and striping plan and any parking issues like you had okay. and that kind of thing. Because right. the question, I had one question about this, was parking going to be preserved on 3rd Avenue? Because there's a couple of residential developments, and when I drove down the street, people parked there, and I anticipate that they would want to keep the parking. Yeah, and after thinking about your question um, that you emailed, this might be a two-way approval process if the commission wants to. Maybe we approve the one-way to two-way if you want, and then with a the stipulation of any parking changes or turn changes or anything that you have jurisdiction over comes back before this body. Right now, we're going to try to keep the on-street parking, but you could put that in your recommendation if you want. I mean, in your uh, motion if you wanted to. But right now, before we can proceed with the uh, railroad crossing, we just need to know if, if it's going to pass this part okay. first. One other question, please. Is the railroad crossing going to be modified to where the trains can cross without the whistles blowing? Or is it just going to be converted to two-way? Do you know? Well, we're working on the quiet zone. Regardless of whether this passes or not, we're working on a quiet zone in this area. So I can't say today if you say yes, it goes to two-way, that we're going to put that in our plan. That's up to the railroad. But that has been applied for, and we're working on that separately. That railroad crossing is going to be modified for, for two-way traffic, vehicular traffic, but pedestrian traffic as well, where people are crossing those tracks right now, and it's not the way we want it to be. So it's a, bigger, it's a big project right now. Okay. <clears throat> well, I would, Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to approve the conversion from one-way to two-way. Um, I'd like to put a caveat in there that we make all best possible efforts to preserve on-street parking. Is, does that work, Chip? Yeah, and the way it's worded in the ballpark study, it kind of says it just like that. We'd like to keep the uh, on-street parking where it's not necessary for um, turning movements and that sort of thing. So it does recommend keeping the on-street parking, and we'll do our best to keep it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Chip, explain I missed it. It says Gay Street to Jefferson Street. What did you say about 
It wasn't Gay Street? Well, Gay Street, from Gay Street down to where 4th intersects 3rd, really to the right of where 4th intersects 3rd on your screen, um, is already two-way. So I didn't want to confuse you there. Where it becomes one way is where the left part of that circle is right on Joe Johnston. It's not labeled. Corby, I don't know if you have a pointer or a way to point on there. Go down, 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 yeah. to your right. Almost like an alley. Right there. That's yeah. that's where it begins. Okay. Where, and then you go all the way to the right, Corby, to the far end of the page. To right there. Right now it's one way, and we need that to be two way for ballpark okay. traffic circulation. So traffic going from from right to left. What is that, Jefferson? Yeah. Oh, where the circle is? Okay, if it's headed towards downtown, where does it go? That's the turn there, right? Well, if you pass this today and we get the railroad crossing modified, you'll be able to go left and right or south and north on 3rd Avenue. So right now, you have to turn left or right inside, right just past that circle. You run into a do not enter. Okay. Okay. And you can go one way out. Correct. One way out. And one way back. Too. You can go one way out when you drive down Third Avenue and you cross Jefferson Street. It's still one way. Right. And then to the right of the arrow, Corby, just a little bit further to the right. Right now you run into a do not enter right there. Yeah. It goes from one way to two way. Got a first and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, old business. Authorize loading zone at 816 Shelby Avenue for River Church. Now this was deferred from last month's meeting. Uh, Diane, do you wanna bring us up to date on that? It was deferred at the request of one of our commission members. We have met with the application. The original application was for a 24-7 loading zone. The application now has been modified for the loading zone to be Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Better. Mm -hmm. Commissioners? Motion to approve. I have a first, second. All in favor say aye. 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 I've got... One point of clarification, Commissioner Green, did you did you note that it was Joe Johnson to Madison? In your, I just want to make sure it's not per agenda. Um, I think I referenced it. Does anybody remember? Well, okay, I'm good with that. <laughs> okay. As long as we know what the intent was. All right. Diane, Chip, Commissioners, short meeting. Captain, do I have a second? Oh, yes. All, right. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All right.